Hi everyone. Shars approached me and asked me if I would be willing to make a video on the installation of one of their digital readouts, the Sino brand, S-I-N-O. I'm going to do separate videos on sizing the DRO and installing each scale and installing the display, and then I'm going to go through things like linear compensation for uh, correcting errors, as well as uh, some of the functions like the bolt hole circle calculator and the arc calculator. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of calculators on this digital readout. So let me reposition the camera and I'll talk about sizing the digital readout. So the first thing you should know when you're talking about sizing a mill for a digital readout is that table size and travel size are not the same thing. Now this is a bridge port. It's got a 9 by 42 table. So 42 inches long. That doesn't mean I have 42 inches of travel. Um, what I have is the length of the table minus the width of the saddle here, which the saddle's 18 inches. I've actually got a little bit more because you can actually run the uh, table past the edge of the saddle in both directions. So in this case, for a 9x42 table bridge port or bridge port clone, I got 36 inches for the X scale and that's going to be plenty. You generally want to err on the side of caution and try to get one that's got a little more travel because you really don't want to run the reader head into either end of the scale. Likewise when we're talking about the y-axis of the machine you've got the length of the dovetail of the knee minus the width of the saddle here. Now in my case uh, Bridgeport actually put out two different knees. They have the regular knee which I think only had nine inches of travel and then uh, I happen to have the 12 inch knee uh, so I have 12 inches of travel. So just like before you can measure the length of the dovetail of the knee which is about 24 inches here minus the width of the saddle which looks to be about 10 inches. Keep in mind there's a stop on the edge of the knee just up here where my finger is. Hello! And then of course there's the dovetails on the back side so you can't extend past the end of the dovetails on the knee. So I have a three axis digital readout to install, so I'm going to be putting it on the knee. I'll actually be putting it on the other side because I have the power feed limit switch on this side, um, but it was easier to get the camera over here. So same deal. You can measure the length of the dovetail uh, and then subtract the height of the knee in order to get your travel there. Um, you do have a little bit of extra room on the bottom and the top that you can go above the dovetails. So on a bridge port like this, you've got about uh, 16 inches of travel. And again, err on the side of caution, go with something a little more than you think you uh, need so you don't end up running the reader head into the end of the scales. So in the case of this digital readout installation, I'm going with a 36 inch X travel, 12 inch Y, and a 16 inch knee. Now they also sell quill mounted digital readout systems and uh, those are pretty simple because on a bridge port and a bridge port clone you've only got five inches of travel and those all have six inches of travel on the scale. Now I didn't get one of those. Uh, for me it just doesn't seem as useful uh, only having six inches of travel uh, as opposed to 16 on the knee. And I use my knee for depth adjustments a lot more than I use my quill. Generally I try to have my quill all the way up and locked when I'm milling anything. So the only time I ever use it is when I'm drilling or boring a hole. 